Hi, and welcome to Tiny Tips. In this video, I am going to show you how to take your existing WordPress site and host it statically elsewhere. And there are many reasons you may want to do this. One of the most important is likely performance and user experience, especially if you're trying to rank in search engines through SEO. Performance and speed of loading of your website is becoming more and more relevant. So here I have a quite a cool template. I didn't build it. Uh, so this is for a creative agency and you'll see it's got some cool animations, a video and is a basically a normal WordPress site. So you can click through, you can see some of the blogs and articles they've got here and you've got your services page as well as a yeah the team page. So it's it's a it's a completely normal website, um, and what we want to do really is take this and host it on a static host, and you can do this for many different types of WordPress sites. So you may have an affiliate site, you may have a small business website, or you may have a portfolio for yourself just to display and showcase your work. So what I'm going to do is log in to my dashboard over here. And there's a few plugins which I have here, but the most important I'm going to use is one called Simply Static. So if you click on that, it's a very simple static plugin to use. And what it does is it generates a static set of files from your WordPress website. And by static, it means a zip file, which has just HTML, JavaScript, and images, and any related assets in a very neat zip file, which you can then take and host elsewhere. So WordPress runs on PHP and your entire WordPress site backup, if you've ever tried to back something up, is usually a PHP and that requires the PHP server and a lot more sophisticated hosting to make that work. But if you staticify your WordPress site, it's actually pretty simple to host. So I'm on this plug, which you can install from the WordPress store. And I'm just going to first click generate static files. This may take a few minutes and it can happen in the background. And what this is doing is running through all of the pages and blog posts on your website and finding out which pages it needs to actually convert to a static site. Cool. So that's now done. And you see it's fetched 383 pages, it says from the website. So there's a lot of pages around. And I just click here to download. And what I'll get is a very cool zip file with all of the pages website, which is just 11 megabytes. And what I'm then going to do is head over to a website called Tiny Host. And this is the simplest way to host and share your web project online. It's a very simple drag and drop interface. So I'm logged in here. And here I'm going to click upload. And I'm going to add a link name. Let's just call it WP static. And I'm going to open finder and drag the zip file, which was generated from the plugin and click launch. And this will take a few seconds as well, just to upload and prepare your site. And boom, that's it, it's live. So now if I just click on this link, we will see the exact same website with all the content, all the animations, videos, etc. now hosted on Tinyhost with fully functioning pages as the original WordPress site. So, there you have it. This is a really simple way to staticify your WordPress site, which means you can now have a tool to easily allow you to edit and update the content on your page. But then when you want to host it and optimize for performance and user experience, you can use this plugin and tiny host to get it live in seconds. And additionally to that you can also add your own custom domain. So you can link your existing web domain address here. And it also provides analytics. So if you want to view exactly how many visitors you've had is all provided out the box there for you. 
And there you go. I will post all the links and some notes as well as an article in the guide for this setup in the description and show notes. Feel free to drop any comments if you have any questions or message us directly. Thanks for watching.